like shiz. Let's get some shit. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. Cheers. Hi everyone. Let's I'm Dr. Taryn Rose and I'm an orthopedic surgeon turned shoe designer. And I'm Enrico Guini. Enrico is an industrial designer, architect, artist, but most importantly, our clients call him the shoe whisperer. Thank you. Together, we are the founders of Enrico Queenie, a line of footwear powered by our patented technology called Alia, Active Lift in Alignment, which makes all shoes, even sexy high heels, more comfortable. What we have seen in over 2,000 clients that we have personally fitted is that there are some common misconceptions. So today, we're going to talk about steepness or inclination versus heel height, because they're not the same. So let's go over inclination. What you mean by that is the steepness of the incline of yeah. your foot, right? Yeah, it's the landing of the bottom of our foot. So, so like this. Yeah. This exactly. is 75. This is a little bit higher at 90, right? Yeah. And this is now a little bit higher even at 95. Yeah. So what's important here is that both these are 100 millimeter heel height even though this is 75 millimeter inclination and this is 90 because this has a hidden platform in it. So I say when you go shopping, you should compare apples to apples and make sure that you're not just talking about heel height because comfort is more dependent on the incline of your foot. And as you move up higher and higher, of course, there's more pressure, more forces causing you to slide forward as you get higher in incline. But don't worry, as high heel lovers, have a shot because you have invented Aaliyah. So with so much physical forces that we have to overcome when we go up higher in inclination in our heels, what does Aaliyah do to alleviate that? Yeah, basically, in spite of this butterfly, uh, we create this winged bridge that uh, increase more than double of surface of the bottom of the foot that is in contact for dissipate our weight. So the perception is uh, uh, a lot less weight in one way that is much more stable because uh, it stabilized from these two wings, basically the wings that you can see here, it is these internal wings. You have also the external one that grab your rachis area, lift it up in the opposite uh, force the pressure that uh, is going to be released all in the metatarso area. So let's take a look at some shoes from our collection to show you that heel height is not as important as inclination when you go shopping. So here we have a 75 millimeter inclination, but a 100 millimeter heel. And our top seller here is at 90 with also 100 millimeter heel. So you have completely two different inclination. Step over here, you have 95 inclination, but 125 millimeter heel, which is amazing. So all of these shoes here, our top sellers, have a crossover that 100 millimeter inclination threshold, because beyond that, you have to have special training for being used to wearing such a steep, heel as well as certain morphology of your it's foot, It's morphology right? because uh, the calcaneus have to be flexible in the way that uh, that point where the joint is connected good with the dome that we have inside. And so for that reason, some women are uh, very comfortable to wearing that steepness and someone else uh, he find very, very annoying. Yes. <laughs> so when you go shopping, Look for the steepness that is most comfortable for you and compare what you're shopping for by inclination or steepness rather than heel height because you can have a higher heel height or a lower heel height depending on how the shoe is built. Maybe it's built with a platform. So now that you have that tip, happy shopping. We hope you find the perfect heels for you. And if you want to check out the most advanced high heels on the market, take a look at illegalqueenie.com. And come to have a beautiful fitting. Cheers. Oh my God. Cheers. Let's get some shits.